Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for stopping by the channel. So for this video, we're going to be checking out the latest iteration of the Longines Legend Diver. Probably the most important dive watch in the Longines collection. And what makes this current version of a Legend Diver so appealing is that they made some subtle refinements to the dial and case, added an outstanding beads of rice bracelet option, and shrunk the overall footprint from a 42 millimeter diameter case down to 39 millimeters. Now granted that the 32 millimeter reissue of a Legend Diver released back in 2007 was accurate in its dimensions to the original compressor reference, the 7042 from the late 1960s. But it also wore very large due to its long lug to lug length. And I think this limited its appeal to those with a more modest wrist size. Now I should also note that there is a 36 millimeter Legend Diver in Longines catalog, but in contrast to the 42 millimeter, I find this version a bit too small. So it makes sense that they decided to release this 39 millimeter Legend Diver, since it's often seen as like the Goldilocks size for a many modern watch enthusiasts. And it also does sit nicely between the 42 and 36 millimeter offerings for this dive watch. But importantly, this also allows it to blur the lines between being a dive watch and more of a dressy sports piece, since it can look rather elegant with its compact size, its many polished surfaces and expansive dial that's not broken up by having a traditional external rotating bezel like on common divers. Indeed, the fact that this watch does have that internal rotating bezel that harmonizes so well with the dial makes it a bit of a stealth diver or chameleon, if you will. I actually look at this 39 millimeter Legend Diver the same way I look at my 39 millimeter Rolex Explorer, as a versatile timepiece that can go with almost any attire or situation without drawing too much attention to itself. But let's get into the specs for this watch, and hopefully by the end of this review, you can decide if this diver is right for your collection. Taking a look at the 316L stainless steel case, we have, of course, that 39 millimeter case diameter. I measure a lug to lug distance of 46.5 millimeters and an overall thickness of 12.9 millimeters from the bottom of a screw down case back that has a very nice engraving of a diver and harpoon. And also to the top of that boxed sapphire crystal that does sit proud of the bezel by at least a few millimeters. I will say that the crystal is beautifully executed and the anti-reflective treatment on it gives excellent viewing angles of the dial and the internal rotating bezel. Now the top of the case and lugs have high polished finish to them, while the side flank of the case has nice satin brushed finish. There are of course two crowns on the side of the case, both being 6.4 millimeters in size for easy grip, and they're both screwed down to aid in the watch's impressive 300 meters of water resistance. And they also have a crosshatch pattern on them, which is actually indicative for being a compressor style watch. The uh, top crown at the two is for rotating the internal dive bezel and the bottom crown at the four o'clock position is for time setting by operating the chronometer grade Longines Caliber L888, which beats away at 3.5 Hertz, has hacking and hand winding, a 72 hour power reserve, and a monocrystalline silicon balance spring to aid in being resistant to magnetic fields. Now, I don't think that the prior version of the Longines Legend Diver with the L888 caliber had a COSC certification on their movements. So this is a nice touch. And I'll also add that the crown action, its operation and thread down experience is very good for both crowns. And this is especially notable on the top crown because I was worried that rethreading it might accidentally move the rotating bezel out of alignment once I had it positioned correctly for counting elapsed time. The dial and inner rotating bezel have a deep black lacquered finish to them and the contrast for the hour markers and the minute track is excellent being printed in white. Now you can also go with a blue lacquered dial colorway but I would actually opt for the black version if you want to keep things classy. Now the hands are highly polished and easy to read at a glance. Since the dial is dark and the light reflects nicely off these polished rhodium surfaces. 
And when the lighting is suboptimal, there is a bicolor lume application of Swiss Superlumina, Superluminova, and that's to aid in the legibility at night. What is nice is that this 39mm Legend Diver has lume filled on the entire hour hand, not just the arrow tip, as well as having a lume tip on the second sand. And these were features missing from the prior generation of a Legend Diver. Now the hour markers are also lume filled, as is the triangle on the internal rotating bezel. The minute hand uses a blue colored lume, so you can actually quickly reference the time that's elapsed when using this hand in tandem with the bezel triangle as a dive timer. So let's touch on the wearing experience, which I think is an important aspect for considering a new timepiece. Now, if you have the opportunity to purchase this watch on the Beads of Rice bracelet, I definitely recommend it since it's roughly the same price or maybe like $50 more than buying it with the leather strap. Now that said, my authorized dealer only had the Legend Diver on a strap available when I picked mine up. And the suede leather strap is fairly nice, albeit it's a bit short for my wrist size, which is seven and a half inches for reference. I do really like the highly polished and stylized Longine pin buckle that comes with the strap though. And when you combine the weight of the watch with the strap, it's only 77 grams. So overall this watch wears very comfortably and I appreciate that Longine also went with a 20 millimeter lug width, making it very easy to find aftermarket strap and bracelet options. So while I didn't get the OEM Beads of Rice bracelet, I found that this watch paired very well with some vintage inspired bracelets from Fosner and Get Cotta. Now pricing for this watch is just over 4,000 Canadian dollars, which is about an $800 increase from the prior generation of a Legend Diver. And with this price increase, you are getting that COSC certified movement, more loomed elements on the hands, and better ergonomics on the wrist over the 42 millimeter diver. Now in terms of improvement, I do wish that Longine would be more transparent with the specific variation of the L888 caliber that went into these watches because it only does say the L888 on their website, which is indicative of their base non-COSC certified movement. And these movements can also range from the materials being used in the balance spring to a date versus a non-date version. For my example of the Legend Diver, sometimes I would actually attempt to hack the movement to set the time, but instead of like being able to hack the movement, it would sometimes go into an intermediate crown position, almost like there was a ghost date wheel, which there really shouldn't be present for a non-date version of this watch. Now, aside from that issue, um, I do wish the loom was a bit more potent on the hour markers and bezel triangle, but overall it is sufficient. Now in terms of alternatives for this watch in the four to 5K price range, I think a lot of people are gonna compare this one to a Tudor Black Bay 58, which has similar case dimensions, vintage diving heritage, and movement quality when you consider it's also a cost certified movement. It's a three-hander with a three-day power reserve. That being said, the Tudor isn't a compressor style watch, so if you're going for a compressor look, I'd look somewhere to something like an IWC Aqua Timer or a Ball Engineer Master Diver with the inner rotating bezel. But these divers are also larger, being closer to 42 millimeters. So honestly, at the end of the day, there aren't too many watches that really compete with this 39 millimeter Longines Legends Diver when you consider its elegance, versatility, being a chameleon on the wrist and a strap monster, while also having utility as a 300 meter diver with a robust automatic movement. So if you're in the market for your next mid-tier luxury diver that has strong heritage and a serious one watch potential, then I think that this Longine Legend Diver should really be on your short list. So thanks so much for watching this video until the end. And if you do enjoy this content, please leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be formed on future content. Also, please let me know your thoughts on this 39mm Legend Diver from Long Jeans in the comments section of this video. And be well, and I'll catch you guys in the next review.